what's going on? Good morning, technicians. Time to get up and get to work. Um, introduce myself. Uh, my name is Ricardo Norwood. Um, I am a licensed HVAC contractor. Um, I started my own business um, almost a year now. Um, I worked for a company before, AC Company. Um, today, I'm just going to um, tell you a little about um, for those who want to take the uh, contractor test, HVAC contractor test. Um, let's see. Um, just give you a little um, what's going on with the HVAC test. Um, number one, just remember this, number one, you got to stay focused, okay? Um, this is the Alabama State HVAC for contractors in Alabama. Now, I don't know, um, you know, what state, you know, I don't know if other states, may, it might be different. I don't know, I'm not sure, but uh, in the state of Alabama, uh, this is how you prepare to take the test and guarantee you pass. Um, number one thing you need to do is stay focused. Um, number two, um, if you really want this, um, stay away from negativity. Um, it's, you know, keep negative out of your life. You don't need that right now while you study from, for the test. But this is what you can expect right here. Let me, uh, let me show you a couple books right here. You need this book right here. Okay. It's one book you need. Now, I know this, it might be a lot. Um, you see these yellow tabs and all this type of blue and orange and all this type of stuff? It, it's good to have. You know, you can find something like if you, if a question on the test is asking you about uh, leak detected, just say like leaks about how to find a leak. See, I got a leak right here, so go to leak, see? Leak detected system. So. It basically, it basically, just say like it's a um, something like um, anything about condenser. Let's say like it said, what type of condenser uh, is used for residential? So you got condenser, see condenser. I got condenser right there. See, you see condenser. Go to condenser. It tell you about the condensers. You know, it's, you know all about how you find stuff. Um, I took, I, um, I took, I see a lot of people talk about uh, highlights. You know, you can highlight some things, but I'm not big on highlighting anything. I tried, let me show you some. I got a lot, I got stuff like in here highlighted, but really it, it, it serves me no purpose, man. It's just a distraction. I, I don't recommend it. You know, it's a, it's it's a distraction, and everything, a lot a lot of things that you highlight on the um on the test, it's it's not on it. A lot of stuff that you highlight on the book, it's not in the test. So I won't I won't recommend it. Just just the main focus is find where everything is. This is a uh, international residential code. Um, just keep in mind, you you don't have to study this whole book now. You ain't got to do all that because a lot of this stuff for um. For people plum, uh, plumbing, um, plumbers, a lot of stuff on, you know, for uh, electric, electricians, um, you know, uh, frame, uh, carpenters. So, you know, you just find the one for HVAC. Let me show you. So don't, 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 don't look at all everything you see. See, like wall constructions and all that. That's not, you ain't got to worry about nothing. Floors and you ain't got to worry about nothing like that. You just need to focus on what it got to do with, like, um, chimney and vent, ch chimneys and vents. You really ain't got to worry about that neither. But this right here, you probably want to worry about this right here. Just start, start studying from right here to the chapter 24. And I think it goes to... Um, you ain't got to worry about that neither. Like swimming pools and all that, you you ain't got to worry about all that. So I, I say from 24 to maybe, I'm trying to see where I stop at. Oh, uh, let's see. Just study chapter 24 on this right here. I think you should be good in the state of Alabama. Um, it's no 
all the books you need to. Let's see. But when you take the test, man, don't don't be nervous, man. You know, it don't it don't matter how to, how, how many times you take it. You know, uh, it just when you pass it. You know, when you get your uh, certification, it's not going to say this person took this this many times. It's just going to say pass. Uh, so. You go, you're going to need this right here. Okay. Um, This just got duct work. You know, it tell you the uh, CFM, you know, how to run duct work and, you know, the uh, static pressure and all that. You need you need to know this. But, but the main thing to pass the test, everything that's in here to pass the test. Um, but, oh. You need to know this too. They talk about um, rest of the day, like you have a uh, a full time. I mean, you have a one ton, and it's like uh, one ton is 400 CFM. So um, you gotta see what type of uh, size unit to put for the house. So if the house, like uh, you gotta look at the windows, foundation, uh, north, south, east, west, drywall, insulation. Um, gonna need this right here. I think I already showed this right here. Uh, I think I already showed that. Um, I'm gonna need this. It's like, um, I, I, I think you, you really don't need this to pass the test, but you have questions on there, maybe like five questions to talk about the uh, CFM, the calculation. Um, this right here, you got to, um, I don't want to get too much into it, but, you know, you can go on YouTube and whatever, you know, find like, let's say like the static pressure is, uh, let me pick one. Let's say like you got 400 CFM. Okay, you got 400 CFM right here. I wish I could see it. Uh, 400 CFM. Okay, I'm going to put, um, static pressure 0 0.5. Let's see. 0.5, it got 0.5, and just show you, you know, what type of duct work, I don't know all this type of stuff, but it, I don't want to get too much into this, because you got to learn all the other stuff first. Um, um, yeah, I said ain't the one who wants to take it, man, um, I'm the owner, um, yeah, the only one stop here in the air, man, and, um, you know, start your own business, you know, if, I, I feel, um, you know the, the criterias criterias so um you know uh require you to um go to school for for um if you don't know anything about hvac i recommend you go take up a trade school go to trade school and stay at least one year to two years whatever so you can learn about it but if you're a handyman it's easy they have uh six weeks uh courses six week classes that you can take um some got like four weeks class you can take to become a contractor, you know, um, uh, I mean, not on the HVAC, HVAC, you also have, um, you have plumbers, you have, uh, electricians, you have, man, it, it, whatever you do, man, you into this trade, you know, try to get an HVAC, HVAC, uh, electrician, uh, try to become a plumber, um, you know, work for a company, if you want to do your own business, start out working for a company so you can le learn the ins and outs about the company. Um, you know, uh, work hard, play hard, you know, do right, you know, right, it'll, it'll follow you, man, um, uh, what else, J -j -j just some encouragement, man, um, stay, like I said, stay focused, man, you know, it's, it, it's, you know, if, you know, if, just pass the test, man, you know, you know, try to be an inspiration to someone else, if you, uh, didn't pass the test and you gotta take it again, just continue to take it. I don't care if you take it 10, 12, 20 times. You know, just focus on that until you pass it. Um, when, when you continue to take it, you get familiar with the questions that they ask you. So you'll be ready to, uh, you know, tackle that situation next time you take it. Uh, but 
you know, that's all I got, man. You know, I just, you know, uh, somebody inspired me. So, you know, I want to you know, be an inspiration to someone else. Um, uh, age back, uh, working on the field, man. Um, it's, it's, <laughs> like, like I, I, um, by the way, you know, um, when I was 21, uh, I started doing carpentry work. So I'm, I'm, I'm used to the field, you know, it's not that new to me. Um, I started working on houses, do side jobs. When I used to work, you know, for a plant, I do side jobs, you know, work. Um, I used to uh, work on houses, um, add additional uh, uh, electrical plumbing. I used to do some HVAC, so HVAC is not is not nothing new to me. But you know, I didn't, I don't know what I know now. You know, back then I used to be like changing blower motors, and you know, maybe changing capacitors. Um, you know, just a little little, little small stuff. But now, you know, I know a whole lot, you know, about the airflow, how to install a complete unit, you know, know how to do, you know, a lot got to do with the HVAC, man. Uh, but, yeah, um, it's a good trade, man. Uh, uh, I think that's all I have, man, just a short video. Um, I'm going to shoot some more videos. I'm going to show y'all, you know, when I'm on the field. Uh, I'm trying to get some uh, footage um, showing y'all how, you know, to install units and, you know, all the other stuff, service calls, and you know, you know, just, uh, just gonna stay busy, man. Y'all have any questions, man? Leave it on the comment. You know, holler, man. I'm Rick, Ricardo Norwood, owner of One Stop Heating and Air in Birmingham. All right, peace. <music>